Now this question was asked in grade 2014, and in this question they are saying double f, and uh, this that means they are giving a function. The function name the function is f, and its return type is double. That means it is going to return a double number, and it is taking a double x. That means uh, this x is of type double, and that uh, number as a input parameter. Okay, and uh, they are having this uh, two statement. This is line number one, and this is line number two, and they are saying. Give a value of q up to two decimal places such that f of q will return q, right? That means if we call f of that particular number, then we are going to get that particular number only as the return statement, right? Now, if you see this program, it is taking some x as an input parameter, and it is taking if a b s x multiplied by x minus three is less than zero point zero one. Okay, and what is this ABS? So ABS is going to give us an absolute number. For example, what is the absolute number of? Uh, if you see absolute number, absolute number of two is two. Now, if you see absolute number of minus two is also two. Okay, and if absolute number is basically whenever uh, you give a number to this ABS, then it is going to neglect this minus part, and it is only going to give you the number. For example, if I give uh, ABS minus eighty six, then it is going to give us. 86. Okay, so in this case, I'm giving ABS uh, x multiplied by x minus 3 is less than 0.01 and return x. And they are saying we, uh, we have wanted this return x uh, from this side because we are giving q and we wanted to get q. That means we are only going to get q when this statement will be executed. So when do this statement will be executed? This statement will be executed when this value. This complete value is less than 0.01. Okay, and when does this value will be less than 0.01? Right. So this value will be less than 0.01 only if this value, this x multiplied by x, is going to give, going to make this minus complete statement as zero. Right. So if you see this statement, I just declare, I'm just uh, talking about this first statement. If you see it clearly, it is if abs x multiplied by x minus 3 is less than 0.01 then we are going to return the value of x okay so i am saying when do you think the statement will become less than 0.0 right why i am saying it because if you see this this is x multiplied by x that means it is x square right so it is x square uh, x square is x multiplied by x so if you give a number to it for example if i give a number minus 1 then if you multiply minus 1 with minus 1 you are going to get the number 1 if you multiply uh, some number with uh, this for example if i multiply 9 uh, minus 9 multiplied by minus 9 therefore it is going to give me again 81 that means if you give any negative number to this then this is going to make that number as positive Right. In any case, this ABS function is going to make any number positive. For example, if you give the value zero to x, right? So if you give the value zero to this function, a, this function will become ABS zero multiplied by zero minus three, right? And this will become ABS zero minus three, and this will become ABS minus three. And this ABS is going to give this absolute value of minus three, and the absolute value of minus three is three, but but this three is not less than zero point zero one. Okay, that means we have to take some value of x multiplied by x in such a way that that value is going to make this complete number, whatever number we are going to get, is uh, less than zero point zero one. Okay, because uh, one more thing, we cannot uh, make this number as negative because if we make, uh, we will try to make this number as negative, then this ABS function is going to make that number as positive. Okay, that means we have to make this number, this complete statement as zero. Okay, so how do you make this complete statement as zero? If you see, we have to make this number x multiplied by x equivalent to three. So when this number is equivalent to three, then only we are going to get a value which is less than zero point zero one because three minus three is zero. Okay, and the absolute value of zero is also zero. But we cannot uh, make this number equivalent to three because Three is not an exact multiple of any um, square, right? So, but if you take the under root of three, then you are going to get one point seven three. That means if we are going to make it, if 
ABS 1.73 multiplied by 1.73 minus 3 then we can make this complete statement as less than 0 0.1 okay so this that means we are have to pass the value of x as 1.73 therefore the option for therefore the answer for this question is 1.73 okay